Colin the Head and welcome to today's episode on Meet the Breakers. Today what we've decided to do, right, we're going to do an episode for, from the local breaker. We're off to see a person called Parson. Now Parson lives in Upton, he's a pretty new breaker. He's set up on a little uh, a little straight 40 set up with a little aerial outside on a biscuit tin. Before you know it, within two days he's bought he a new 827, he's got himself a nice radio, you know, he's got a proper setup, a proper CB setup. He's quite passionate about his CB, but he is a, he is a pretty new breaker over here in Yorkshire. But he has quickly, you know, he's built up a reputation, he's quickly built up a reputation of being a professional breaker. He's been on, he's been on rig about two years, that's Parson, and he's an eager beaver, you know, he's always wanting to find out more and he wants to know about radio. So he's asked us to meet, for Meet the Breakers to whoop and see him and uh, generally just, uh, you know, give him the Meet the Breakers experience. Ray, just a little bit about Parson and the uh, Parson setup. Uh, is it is it is it Upton? Now Upton, hence the word Upton. You know, it's high up, so you know it's up. It's, it's in the same area as Poppenaka from episode two. Uh, it's in the same area, so it's high up. So I, I, to, to your viewers have already watched this episodes before. You know, it's it's it, it, it's self-explanatory really. So it's in Upton, so we will be getting out. And there's like a little cluster of breakers. They've not been on long, and Parsons like the ringleader. You know what I mean? He's like flat. He's like he's, he's sailing the ship out there, you know, for like quality and professionalism in this CB and his hobby. And, you know, he, when we get there, you'll be able to see. He's, he's leading the way. He's paving the way and upturn the CB population. So here we are outside Parsons. Let's go and meet the Parson Breaker. Hello mate, Hello, Colin mate. here from Beat the Breakers. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm not bad. We're just coming round to see you mate. Yeah, come in mate, yeah. come in. Alright, well, hi. Hi, you're going to be the long one lads. Mate, come on down, the radio shack's a page gentlemen. So here we are in Parsons Radio Shack. Tell us a bit about your setup, Parson. Yeah. Give, set give us some information. Well, I got back into TV and uh, I had a few CBs and they were shite. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. As we all know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I thought I'm going to get a radio and and that's it. Right. A good, one good radio and, and so job's did, so, done So one. what radio did you buy? So I bought an FT100. Did you? Is that yeah. what you decided? Well, I, I was well ill advised at the time. Well, you, you were ill advised? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. Who, 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 who advised you? Oh, you want to know? Oh, what can I get names out on well, it? You, it's up to you, mate, if you want to. Uh, Smoky. It, it was an early uh, time in my CB career and I, yeah. want, uh, I didn't quite realise what it was. You didn't have the experience and, yeah. you needed to buy a good radio, did you, Parson? That's it. And, yeah, and yeah, I had a couple mean? of quid and I thought, I'm going to buy a new radio. So anyway, I've ended up with a fucking... Oh, you have to edit that out, but yeah. FT hundred Delta. An FT hundred Delta. And I've just had, uh, I've just spent thirty quid on it servicing. It uh, that's original mic I got with. It started going rustly, and uh, it was PTT switch. I bodged it, and it worked for a few more weeks, and I just yeah, kept pulling yeah, off yeah. getting a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that and got fucked off, yeah. and I went and got. I thought I'd find myself a little bargain with this little pretty thing. 16 quid, genuine, yay yeah, so, too good to be true. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. All yeah. the shouting, well, you're all fucking right, it was too good to be true, because it's a pile of shit. Or okay, keen up like that, and it was showing transmit there, as you can see, you get both lights when it's yeah. transmitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, when it's on, well, when speaker's on, it goes green. Right. So, I'm we'll keen up like that. Yeah. That'd stay red, and that'd be rapidly, maybe 20, 30 times a second, going from green to red. Won't lock in out. So as you can see, Parsons had a little bit of problem with his radio. You know, yeah. he's had an intermittent problem, but he's rectified it because he's flying and he's he's setting the standard in Upton. Yeah. But you, 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 do you class yourself, Parsons? Just a little bit of a question. Yeah. Right? Do you class yourself as you like setting the standard in Upton for CB standards? Well, I'm not a CB, am I? Well, you I am a CB. You are a CB. I've you, got an HF set. Why? So what do you think? What, right, hang on. What do you think you are then? I don't know. I'm an hybrid. 
You're an hybrid. I'm a CB hybrid. That's, that's, I'm a new generation of CBs. That's got to be an MTB first, hasn't it? Paulson, an exclusive eh? for he's, he's not a brecker, but he's not a radio arm. He's a hybrid. I'm an hybrid arm. Hybrid. <laughs> you, Paulson the hybrid breaker. I mean, for example. You know what I mean? Let's just take a look out there. He's my competitor there. See that silly IMAX thing up there? On the chimney. Mm, zoom into that. Get you a bit of space, man. Have you got it, cameraman? No, no. Tell us a bit about your competitor then, Parson. Let me just get a light for this sick. First things first, lads, you know. He's a light cop. That's a very close antenna. Uh, yeah. Then he is running that cunt. Sorry, can't say cunt. Oh, sorry, sorry. Can't say shit. Uh, that obnoxious person over there, that breaker, he's running uh, illegal power. It's not on, right? As you can see, he's a couple, he's, he's what, 20, 30 yards? And he's absolutely, he might as well run a wire to me antenna. I get him over eight channels each way. I'm telling you, I'm on. I'm this far from writing a letter to ICC or Ofcom, or what are we now? Oh, come on. Oh, well, I'm going to write to ICC anyway because I think it's an international problem, Wayne. Right? It's not on. He's running. He's running silly amounts of power, and uh, and our, our everyday breaker meant to, you know. Yeah, but Parson, you're running hundred watts. You send me. No, I'm not all time. I'm yeah, but you run about fifty. Fifty. No. Ten. No. So how where do you run it? I run legal, four, man, four. All oh, right, right. So four. you are, you are legal. Of course I am. You, yeah, you, fucking you, were, you, you were in, you were in the legal parameters of the actual license. I, if I, still I, I am trying to imply that I'd be inappropriate. I'm not implying anything, Parson. But what, I'm just there. asking a question. You've you mentioned power, right? Yeah, yes. Obviously, so we want to know how much power you're running now. So you're running. You're in four watts, aren't oh, you? Oh, that's all I need. And you've, that's you've, all he you've needs. Got, and you've got, you've got a neighbour who's, what, 100 yards away from you? Yeah. And how many watts has he got? 150? Well, I wouldn't like to say on uh, national television. Right. Well, but but there's know. a rough guide. Is, is it, is it mid, mid, mid to... He's you know, doing about 100, time, 100 times legal limit in that sort of range. Right, right, right. And he's on your doorstep. And he's there. So you can't hear no... So it just bleeds me out, and uh, yeah. I, I've been, I've done right thing. I've gone and knocked on lad's door, and you know I just get a load of abuse. It's, it's same on nineteen. He just keeps coming out with abuse. Just keeps shutting down, doesn't it? And it's uh, all the other week. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, poor bloke goes round knocks on his door, right? And he just shuts <laughs> door in his face and says, "Go away, parson. You're gonna have to put up with me bleed of her." You know what I mean? What can I do? What can you do? I do you, help him out. And, uh, you help him out, you set him up, and what's he going to do? All he does is just blows your receiver away. Your front end's gone with his linear, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what can you do? I he mean, might, what can you do? He might, I might as well get a coax uh, back end of his. He might, he might, he might as well just tie a wire to your pole, and, right? and, just, uh, and just come in. You might as well stop at the door and just say, uh, all right, mate. So you surrender. Where, where are you with it though? You know what I mean? Look what it's doing to your parson. Just don't be which end with yeah, it, yeah. I mean... Yeah, you need to do something about it, pal. I don't know. Right, mate, you need to get back to testing your radio, bud. Right. I'm, I'm sure that's number 10 I can hear in there. Well, the noise is coming out of the rig. Only 25% of it's your audio. The rest of it's garbage. No <laughs> to do with my phone. <laughs> you took my off and it's still there. No, no, Roger. He's got selective hearing number 10. So yeah. Only sometimes. <laughs> Nana Roger. Cheers, Daz. You're getting me all right, buddy. Yeah, that'll do me, mate. I'm back on me, uh, I'm back on me old Bessie. Back on the old quality rig. Yep, no wrong with that, dude. Uh, it's back in the kitchen on frying an egg. Frying an egg? No, took with that. All right, Daz. You get me all right, Dougie? Right, I'll turn my power up to 4 watts, look. Oh, Roger. You getting me all right, Doug? Yeah, I'll have it probably. Uh, give us some more, I'll get power reading. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, 
also in repair is that knob there were a little bit loose. Anybody who's familiar with hundred will know. My knob were a bit wobbly. <laughs> I, had wobbly. <laughs> I had wobbly knob, so he's done that and all Dougie. What do you think's the best C B radio in the world? Best C B radio in the world. In my opinion. Yeah. It's got to be an audio line 341. It's got to be. Just an outstanding radio. I'm sure all your brickers will agree. It's, uh, it's a good set. It's my dream it's machine. It's a good set. Yeah, yeah, it, they are a good set. They're a good radio. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I met them with that. And uh, I get by RA, I crack out. Yeah, that's not bad, isn't it? You know what I mean? But you'd sooner, have, dream an, box you'd sooner have an audio line 341, yeah. wouldn't you? Nah. Yeah, proper C likes his audio lines. Yeah, yeah. Right, Paul, so question number two, yeah. right? What's the best antenna in the world? Best antenna in the world? Well, what we're talking, home base. Oh, well, you're an home base, you're an home base station, aren't you? So let's go for, let's well, go then, for an home base area. Well, I'm going to send my own, aren't I? Because, uh, so tell us a bit about that then. Well, that. Uh, I am really, I'm not really experienced in, in, in antennas, but my experience is I had a GP up chimney for a year or two. That seemed to get out all right. Yeah. Uh, and then I swapped it straight for that 827 on scaffolding. Right, for the viewers at home that don't know what an 827 is, an 827 is a 5H wave omnidirectional vertical antenna, which is made from aluminium. It's got six vertical sections and a swiring piece at top. It also comes with eight horizontal radials, also known as ground planes. And they're also known as, it's known as a Lambra ground plane. It's got an exposed coil and it's made from aluminium. Well, it's an aluminium antenna. It's a screw and a Jubilee fixed arrangement. And they're very strong. They're an extremely reliable, strong antenna. And they're a popular choice for all CBs in the UK. And they get rave reviews and they've got very, very good high performance. You know what I mean? That's an 827 in a nutshell. Back to you, Pawson. Yes, nice. Question so, number... It, I've got a question for you. Is it fair to say that you like an 827? I run an 827 myself, yeah. and I've run 827s for years, you know what I mean? And I'm a lover of the Serial 827. I would recommend the Serial 827 to any yeah. CB radio user using 27 megs, because uh, they are a, a, a really good antenna. Anyway, we're not meeting Colin the Head. Yeah, we're yeah. meeting Parson, right? Who do you hate the most on the CB? It's got to be that fatty over there. That's nah, him over there. That fatty, but be out of shattering a doubt, he's the bane of my life, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, Pedro, awesome. Pedro, for all the breakers, it's Pedro. You hate, you hate Pedro, is he your arch enemy on CB? I can't stand him. <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's no good, is it? So, as you can see, Pawson really knows his stuff, you know what I mean? He's passionate about his Yesu, he loves audio lines, especially the 341, and he'd sooner have an audio line 341 over his Yesu FT100D. He's also had a few technical issues lately, so he's not an happy brecker, and he's got, he's got a really un, well, uncooperative neighbour who just lives on at back, so he's using stupid amounts of power, right? And Pawson's here running for... He can't get out. He can't get out at Breckers. So he's not an happy Brecker at all. You know what I mean? This is Parson. You know what I mean? But he's told us who he hates. He loves his 827s. And you know, he's, he's a professional breaker. And he hasn't been on scene long. But as you can see, he's learned quickly. You know what I mean? Right, Parson. It's been a pleasure to see you today. Thanks and, uh, for Cheers me. for your time. And uh, we hope to catch you again in some more uh, Meet the Breckers activities. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we're outside in Parsons back garden, right, and we've come out to look at his antenna. He's got an 827 up. Can you remember down in po on Popper Wells on up oh well episode two, Poppernacker? He had an 827, but this is in a lot better condition, this 827. This 827 is a proper good example of an 827. So if we want to have looked at the 827 where he's got it installed, obviously he's got it on T and K back at top back at house. And as I can see, you can see the radials and you know, you can see the 827. It's just twitching it wind. It's a bit windy today as well. You know what I mean? Ah, she's not fair enough. It's a for you. And uh, it's a good example. It's also got a vibration ring. You can see we're around the radials. 
Now that's to stop the radials vibrating and causing a humming sound through the house. Obviously, he's got it on brackets on side of house and the noisy antenna. And the idea of the actual ring around the radials is to stop the actual vibration coming down the poles. So it's a good example, it's about best examples we've had on Meet the Breckers of a proper 827 installation. You know what I mean? It's a good it's a really good example. And you know, I'd be proud of that me. No, I'd be proud of that antenna. There's a person there just swinging on his area like a monkey. That's how an 827 should be installed, lads. Yeah? You know what I mean? Cherry picker job. So that's about it for Meet the Breckers today. So uh, we're going to leave Parson to get back to his DX because a we've got a lot of a transatlantic DX at the moment coming through. You know, America, have you heard two, di uh, two division coming through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got loads coming through, you know what I mean? Got all these QSO cars to send out in today's post before, before, uh, before post goes at half past five. He's got all them to write out because you'll have all your contacts down in your book, waiting oh, yeah, Parson, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Nice. Great, Parson. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for See you coming. later, mate. See you later, pal. See you later, thank you. See you later, Parson. Takes up time in your life at the sum of this life.